Hello friends, in this concept building video tutorial of time and work, we'll discuss the concepts of time, work and efficiency with a few basic questions of this very important chapter. So let's start with the concept of efficiency. What do we really mean by the term efficiency? To understand the term, let's take an example here. You must be aware of these two famous personalities. Yes, on the left is the singing sensation. Arjit Singh and on the right is the soulful Sonu Nikam. Let's now suppose Arjit takes two days to record a song while Sonu does it in just one day. So it's clear that in a day Arjit does one half part of the work while Sonu does the whole. And therefore we can say that Arjit is 50% efficient while Sonu is 100% efficient. Let's take another example here. On my left is Mr. XYZ and on my right is Mr. ABC. They both are very good masons. It's further given that Mr. XYZ takes two days to build a 10 feet wall while Mr. ABC takes three days to do the same piece of work. It clearly means that Mr. XYZ does one half part of the work a day while Mr. ABC does one third part of the work a day and if calculated in percentages we can state that Mr. XYZ's efficiency is 50% while Mr. ABC's efficiency will be 33.33% by now you must have understood that we can represent the efficiency of a person or a machine in either of the two terms a fraction or a percentage therefore we can say that if a person or a machine does a certain piece of work in n units of time, efficiency of the person or the machine will be 1 upon n or 1 upon n into 100%. I hope the concept is a bit clear to you now. Now let's discuss the relationship between efficiency and time. In the last example, we observed that Mr. XYZ's efficiency was 1 by 2, while the time taken by him to complete a certain piece of work was 2 days and similarly Mr. ABC's efficiency was 1 by 3 while the time taken by him to complete the same piece of work was 3 days. The relationship hence deduced as efficiency is inversely proportional to time. To understand the application of the concept let's take the first example we discussed in this video tutorial. Ratio between the time taken by Arijit and Sonu was 2 is to 1. Therefore, their efficiency ratio will be 1 by 2. Here, we just did the inverse of the time ratio to get the efficiency ratio. Therefore, we can say that Sonu is twice as efficient as Arjit. We hope the concept explained here is clear to you now. We will now take different kinds of questions and discuss different approaches to solve them. We have categorized the questions we are going to discuss under type 1 category. So let's discuss the first variant of the type 1 category here. In this kind of questions, the language of a question goes like, if A does a piece of work in A days and B does the same piece of work in B days, what time will they take together to complete the same piece of work? The simplest method to solve this question is, time taken is equal to AB upon A plus B, where A is the time taken by A and B is the time taken by B. Let's take a similar question here. If Prabhas does a piece of work in 6 days and Rithik does the same piece of work in 12 days, what time will they take working together to finish the same piece of work? So we can simply put the values in the trick we just discussed. So the time taken will be 6 into 12 upon 6 plus 12 that will be 18. And on solving the equation it will give us 4 days. Wasn't it simple? Let's now take an example of the second variant of type 1 questions and the language of the question goes like If A does a piece of work in 10 days, B does it in 12 days and C does the same piece of work in 15 days, what time will they take together to finish the same piece of work? We can actually solve this question applying any of the three different approaches we are going to discuss here. The first approach says that time taken 
is equal to ABC upon AB plus BC plus CA, where each A, B and C is the time taken by A, B and C respectively. And on putting the values, we get time taken is equal to 10 into 12 into 15 upon 120 plus 180 plus 150, which further will give us 10 into 12 into 15 upon 450. And on solving which, we get 4 days. The problem with this approach is that it gets time taking to multiply the numbers and further add them up to get the denominator part. Let's now discuss the second approach which is based on percentage efficiency. As per this method, time taken is equal to 1 upon total percentage efficiency. And in this question, we have A's percentage efficiency is equal to 1 by 10 into 100% and that will be equal to 10%. Similarly, B's percentage efficiency will be 1 upon 12 into 100% and that will be equal to 8.33% and C's percent efficiency will be equal to 1 by 15 into 100% and that will be equal to 6.66% therefore total percentage efficiency of A, B and C is equal to 24.99% which is approximately equal to 25% therefore time taken is equal to 1 upon 25 percent and that will give us 4 days. This approach is good if you are good at getting percentage values of fractions quickly. We recommend you to mug up percentage values from 1 upon 2 up to 1 upon 18 as they are quite helpful as far as questions of time and work and data interpretation are concerned. Let's now discuss the third approach as per which time taken is equal to 1 upon total efficiency in a fraction. So once again, A's efficiency is equal to 1 by 10, B's efficiency is equal to 1 by 12 and C's efficiency is equal to 1 by 15. Therefore, their total efficiency will be 1 by 10 plus 1 by 12 plus 1 by 15. To add all these fractions, we can apply the traditional approach in which we take the LCM of the denominator parts which will be 60 here and the numerator's part will be 6 plus 5 plus 4. Solving this we get 15 by 60 and that will be equal to 1 upon 4. Therefore time taken by A, B and C working together will be 1 upon 1 by 4 and that will give us 4 days. So friends you can see here that the traditional approach is the fastest one and hence we would suggest you to follow only those methods or tricks which you find useful enough to apply. Do not just be blindfolded and follow a method. Apply your own senses and take out the best learnings for your betterment. Let's now take the third variant of the type 1 questions and the language of the question goes like A and B can do a piece of work in 12 days. B and C take 15 days to complete the same piece of work while C and A do it in 20 days. So if A, B and C work together, how many days will they take to finish the work? You can observe here that this question is somewhat similar to the previous question. The only difference is that each of the three persons is working with each of the other two simultaneously. Again, we can solve this question applying any of the three approaches we are going to discuss here. The first one says time taken is equal to 2ABC upon AB plus BC plus CA where each A, B and C is the time taken by A, B and C respectively. So on putting the values we get time taken is equal to 2 into 12 into 15 into 20 upon 12 into 15 plus 15 into 20 plus 20 into 12 which further will give us 2 into 12 into 15 into 20 upon 720 and on further calculation we get 10 days. The second approach says time taken is equal to 1 upon total percentage efficiency. Here A and B's combined percentage efficiency is equal to 
1 by 12 into 100 percent that is equal to 8.33 percent similarly b and c's combined percentage efficiency is equal to 1 by 15 into 100 percent that will give us 6.66 percent and c and a's combined percentage efficiency is equal to 1 by 20 into 100 percent that will give us 5 percent adding both the left and the right hand sides we get 2 into a b and c's combined percentage efficiency is equal to 19.99 percent and that in approximation is equal to 20 percent therefore a b and c's percentage efficiency will be 20 by 2 and that is equal to 10 percent and therefore time taken will be 1 by total percentage efficiency which is 10 percent here so the answer will be 10 days now let's apply the third approach the traditional one so a and b's combined efficiency in a fraction is equal to 1 by 12 similarly b and c's efficiency in a fraction is equal to 1 by 15 and c and a's efficiency in a fraction is equal to 1 by 20 adding the left and the right hand sides we get 2 into a b and c's combined efficiency is equal to 1 by 12 plus 1 by 15 plus 1 by 20 now the lcm of 12 15 and 20 will be 60 which will be the denominator and the numerator will be 5 plus 4 plus 3 and that will give us 12 so the fraction we will be getting is equal to 12 upon 60 which finally will give us 1 by 5 therefore a b and c's combined efficiency is equal to 1 by 10 as the 2 from the left hand side will be multiplied by the denominator part of the right hand side therefore time taken by a b and c working together is equal to 1 upon total efficiency which is 1 by 10 here so the answer will be 10 days so friends we hope you enjoyed the session and learned the concepts in the next video we'll discuss the next type and questions related to it till then keep learning and have a great time